Hi everyone, we have now finished the probability toolbox and various probability inequalities. In the next few sessions I'm going to cover how random variables can converge to another random variable. There are problems with this and there are issues to consider because we're talking about random numbers which converge and we have to somehow put together convergence and randomness. We'll see that there are different ways we can do this and I'm going to cover four different options for this. So, modes of convergence. And I'm going to start with the definition of the various convergences we can have. So, this is actually going to be a definition. Okay. So, the main setup will be that we have random variables x1, x2, and so on, converge to x, which is another random variable. And we'll have different ways this convergence can take place. The first way to do this is called weakly. So we have convergence to x weakly. We say there convergence weakly or equivalently in distribution. If the following happens, if the following happens, for every bounded and continuous function g, we have that the expectations gxn as numbers, these are not random anymore, converge as n goes to infinity to the expectation of g of x. Okay, so that's the first definition. And then a remark here, I'm going to make two remarks. The first remark is that equivalent to this, equivalent to weak convergence, okay, so this is also weak convergence, is that for every x where the distribution function of the limiting random variable, this x here, is continuous, for every point of continuity of the limiting distribution function, we have that the distribution function of the n's random variable converges to the distribution function of this limiting random variable. Okay? These two statements are equivalent. I'm not going to show you that they are equivalent. If you want to check uh, how it's done, then you can take a look at Portmanteau's theorem, which I'm not covering in this unit. So Portmanteau's theorem gives you a few equivalent characterization of, of weak convergence and it includes that bounded continuous functions converging in expectation which is the definition of weak convergence is equivalent to this other definition of distribution functions converging wherever the limiting distribution function is continuous. Now distribution function is non-negative, uh, sorry it's a uh, non-decreasing and uh, it's bounded so it can actually only have a countable number of non-continuity points. It can only jump at a countable number of times and therefore this is not a really big restriction. So there are only countable many places where uh, the limiting distribution function is not continuous. At those places we do not necessarily have uh, convergence but everywhere else we do. That's an equivalent definition of weak convergence. Okay, so that was the first type, first kind of uh, uh, ways random variables can converge one to another. I have another remark here, namely, notice one important thing, that I'm taking the random variable x, I'm taking a function on it, and I'm taking the expectation. Or here I'm looking at the distribution function of the random variable x. Nowhere in this definition I'm subtracting one x from the other. Okay? 
Nowhere in the definition I need any of these random variables to be defined on the same probability space. So these random variables can live on very different probability spaces. So x1, x2, and so on, and also x, can all live in very different probability spaces. Okay, maybe x1 is an experiment performed in some way and x2 is an experiment performed in the Mars and x3 on the Moon and the limiting distribution lives on another galaxy, it's still fine. Okay, so we have just the distribution functions on the expectations of functions, we don't need to have the same probability space. So that was weak convergence. Okay, there is another way we can have random variables x i converge to x and this is called in probability in probability if the following is happen if the following happens for every positive epsilon we have that the probability that x n differs from x by more than epsilon goes to zero as n goes to infinity Okay, that's in, com in probability convergence. Notice that I'm subtracting x n from x, which means they need to be defined in the same probability space, otherwise subtraction doesn't make any sense, uh, and that's in probability convergence. I'm also going to add the notation here. So the notation for weak convergence is, so for weak convergence we had x n, either I can denote it like a little w on top of the convergence or some people denote it by a double arrow that's the notation for weak convergence okay and in probability con uh, convergence is often denoted by a little p on the convergence sign so x n goes to x in probability that's denoted by this little p Okay, so that were the first two ways when the variables can converge to another one. Let me show you two more, which will be important in this unit. Okay, so this the the third way we can have convergence. Uh, again, let me just remind that uh, when the variables x converge to x in the third way which I want to talk about and that's almost surely almost surely and sometimes this is abbreviated AS as you already know very well almost surely if well this is what you expect based on this uh, nomination if the probability of this event that X ends converge to X is one that's almost true convergence okay so these are random variables meaning they are functions of omega x is a function of omega so there are some set of omegas where the actual values of the x n converge to the actual value of x this subset must have probability one that's when we say that we have convergence almost surely the notation for that is just uh, a s so we usually just say x n goes to x almost surely people also say strongly almost sure convergence is also sometimes referred to as strongly or strong convergence so almost sure is the same as strong convergence okay so that's the third type of convergence and i have a fourth type of convergence in LP, and this is actually a lot of definitions for any positive P real number, if the following happens, take the expectation of your random variables x n minus x to the p's power, so again, take the p's power of the difference, absolute value of the difference, and then an expectation outside. If this thing goes to zero, as n goes to infinity, then we say that we have LP convergence. The notation for this is Xn 
converges to x in Lp. Okay. So these are the four modes of convergence I would like to talk about, and what's coming next is the relations of one to the other of these convergences, what we can say, which one implies the other, and uh, going to explore these kind of questions now.